Beneath the angel on the water, I want to be barefoot in these shadows and feel the cool of the tile here under the terrace and be one of the wild things in this geometric and deliberate structure. On the floor, a sparrow is lying, looking broken. No, two sparrows are fighting, tangled wings jerking and fluttering, keeping each other grounded. As I watch beaks touch, I cannot say if they are biting or kissing. They manage to take their fight into the air, where they curve towards each other like question marks that ask if you want to run or chase. They seem to find an answer. They fly after and toward one another. The chase leads them to corners and deeper shadows, but I walk into the light, to the angel on the water. I feel as if heat is being sucked from the foggy air into the space between my shirt and my stomach, but it has the benefit of making everything seem brighter less crowded out by mist that tries to supersede color. As I sit on the rim of the fountain, I am cooled by the clean air that comes off the angel. A woman begins to play the harp, holding it to her body, and somewhere in the song, I forget that she and the harp, the trickling water and the singing of the strings have ever been separate entities. But the angel and I are separate entities, divided by more than the water between us. We are unalike because she is carved, unchanging, and unflinching in the face of the cold, clean air that flows away from her and makes everything smell like living trees. Is this what I am to aspire to, to be cast in stone and to be sad and loving as I stare over everything that transpires, to never more move among the people I love? The soles of my shoes would never be more full of rocks than rubber, and my sweater would never come apart, un come undone at the seams only to be held together by the tangles of my hair. I would never wonder if the trees are jealous of the pond for the vibrancy of its green color. I would never be angry at the clicking of the cameras and never say, stop, the beauty will be lost on you. Even if you look at this picture day after day, you will never see it as it is now. And the pigeons would start to look like flaws and the angel would start to look her age and you would see only a possession, a memory framed and not owned.